I'd just like to point out, if you notice a bunch of terminals now working, that was me. I'm here, fixing stuff, being awesome, limping, but still being awesome. Well, according to the pit boy, the switches are found here and somewhere else. Could it be down there? There's this some right in front of me and some roughly about. Ooh, okay. No. Another switch over here. Uh, is it upstairs or downstairs? It could be. All right, tell you what, let's start by flicking those three and see if that does the job. All right. Oh, no, 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 was that... Was that all that was needed? Hey, have you seen my programmer's digest last What are you doing here? Why oh, are you read. pretending that you know how to wise. read? Everyone knows you're a moron. Fuck off, dork. <sighs> you know it goes faster if you actually stick your tongue in one of the ports over there? Just, just some helpful advice. Moron. Okay, I am... Welcome back. I hope you are enjoying your stay with Alltech. Uh, and... Let's... Maintenance menu. Network to server tier 2. There are no tasks in the maintenance queue. You've fixed this already, remember? Have I? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. There are no tasks in the maintenance queue. I fixed one of them. You have restored this system already. What about this one then? Outside the cement vault shell in the cavern is a port leading from the vault 18 computer lab to the cable network above. These cables are severed. You should gain oh. access to the system so have I just... via the hatch located in the hall by the hydroponic slab to repair these cables. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you about that in a second. I've got to repair some cables in Vault 18 cistern. Got it. Main menu. Um Displaying system status. Did I please restore just all flip the switches and everything was fixed tech or automatically? One of the day one instruction package. Yeah, I'm sorry for talking over you, but you oh no, here this is right. Okay, tier two networks are still offline, but my science is awesome. You have done well, young vault dweller. <laughs> Maybe next time you will give me a turn reorganizing your internal organs. Oh, look at that. You unlocked a few more data stores. Please, avail yourself of this bounty of bitchy diaries and 200-year-old grocery lists. Okay, I don't know which was weirder, you trying to flirt with me in a kind of rude way, or the, the last bit, um... Ch tier 2 systems optimal. Vault tech orders demand all subsystem tiers be unlocked. Tiers have been offline for 66,795 days. That's that's a few days. Okay. Oh, I didn't actually check Field on one that systems one. Optimal. Internal vault terminals are ready to browse. These terminals contain early vault overseer logs and resident testimonies. Right, so we now have access to a lot Main menu. of all oh, the terminals in question. They're not the terminals around here, are they? Are they? Oh, 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 terminals. Lots of terminals. I've got access to terminals. Oh, yeah. All right, not found. So, so anything that doesn't have a label on it. All right. Do I have access to Pong? I don't have access to Pong. I don't have access to Pong. Tier 1, Terminal 3, Terminal 4. Tier 1, Terminal 1. Let's see what we now have access to. Um, tons and tons of data by the looks of things. vault -Tech Auto Alert, the 23rd of the 10th, 2077. Automated signal from vault Tech nuclear launch detected. Initiate directive order one. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, okay. 
That was the bombs going off. All right. My God, it's actually happened. We all thought it was a drill, but we went anyway. And now, here we are. I ordered the vault door to stay open for five minutes longer than was defined in my directives. I still had MPs trapped outside. I saved them all and a few more than was called for. Now these two angry looking vault tech reps are starting to edge in closer. I have a feeling that they already have a plan for how to dispose of my body. And I'm pretty much powerless to do anything about it. Well, this isn't how I saw my evening going. Overseer Dovnik. Right, so... Did he last very long? Apparently not, because two days later, Guard Chief Clint Dixon is making an entry. This is Guard Chief Dixon reporting that MP personnel have taken control of Vault 18. After 48 hours of unrest and civil dispute, Vault Tech personnel in the Overseer's office were arrested and sent to holding in the jail. Overseer Dun Dovnik was found dead in his office in the hours following the door being sealed by these agents who had forced a cyanide capsule down his throat. For the rest of these vault tech agents, I hereby order they be kept under house arrest until further notice. One of them I caught attempting to initiate the vault's self-destruct sequence when we broke through the door. And I personally shot him through the eye. We'll sort out the details later on. So they killed the overseer and then tried to self-destruct the entire place while they were in it. Okay, and... And a month later, he was essentially the overseer. All right. It has become apparent to me and several MP guards that the vault Tech program was never meant to save anyone. Outlined in the directives are viral experiments on unwilling test subjects, sexual exploitation of minors and small animals, and, and what can only be described as psychological torture of innocent civilians. Though the efforts, through the efforts of several computer experts and military servicemen, we gained control of the master computer and set it to defaults. Hundreds of live video feeds from the other vaults were discovered, as well as active connections to the vault server network. I sent former army engineers to cut the cables to the federal federated vaults not marked as control, leaving them open world would be a toxic influence and lead to disaster one day. Leaving them open would be a toxic influence. Why? Because of the horrible things going on there, if we were to observe them, I suppose. All right. A uh, couple of years later. The vaults were never meant to save anyone. Stored in Overseer Dovnik's desk were directives from Vault Tech. All residents of Vault 18 are to be subjected to round-the-clock live video feeds from across the country. All of the other vaults, all of those people. Vault 18 was an experiment. I can hardly wrap my round mind around it. The world is over, and we were lab rats. How could they do this? We shut off the computers before anyone could see it. The horrors these people are being subjected to. This information doesn't leave this terminal. It is recorded for future overseers only. We hold elections next Friday night. No one needs to know what happened here. Guard Chief Dixon. Okay, so he took over, but he's going to hold elections after two years. A uh, few days later? To my surprise, the vault residents elected me overseer, even knowing I very well may have put Dovnik in his grave. When we overthrew the vault tech system, it was by the night of our MPs and ex-army personnel. We were... Wait a minute. Even knowing I very well may have put Dovnik in his grave. All right. It was by the night of our MPs and the ex-army personnel. We were praised as heroes and worshipped by the population we were clearly outnumbered by. As we've all swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, we immediately reinstated a democratic electoral college as military men we are already very proud of our service and the american people are basically programmed to praise us at face value unfortunately what they don't understand is that most of us are very simple men of service age and completely unfit to hold any form of office but because we were over praised and treated with special permissions we started to believe we had special rights and privileges not afforded us in a civilian standing it's good to treat your military men with respect and gratitude. It's entirely another to make them feel like they are sole proprietors of that gratitude and respect. We get complacent and arrogant, and a self-entitled military is quite possibly the most destructive force to democracy on Earth. Thus, the nuclear hell our world turned 
into, and my situation here, trying to keep my MPs from taking advantage of the population. Overseer Dixon, a remarkably wise man, apparently. Overseer Clint Dixon's last entry a year later. At least on this terminal. I went into this thinking that my job as overseer was to keep water in the pipes, keep it clean, make sure the lights stay on. It turns out that la this largely happens by itself, so long as the engineers have what they need. Uh, thus your job is keep the engineers with what they need, you know, keep them stocked. And that last part is the key, because the engineers have opinions. Oh dear, isn't that a shame? But they're smart enough to not to open their mouths until they have proof positive that they are right. The only downside is that when they do open their mouths, it is in an arrogant and often socially challenged way that pits everyone against them. I'm sorry, I object to that. Don't make my mistake, engineers make poor lawyers. Whoever inherits this office after me, just make sure you don't let anyone control this self-destruct button who is an easy pinch. They get these codes, we're done for. Okay, so there are codes that will self-destruct the entire vault. Why do I know that is going to become important at some stage in the uh, near future? Tier 1, Terminal 2. Oh, okay. Mr. Tubbs. This was... Tw Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. These were the overseer's logs at the end of the 21st century. These are the logs of Mr. Tubbs somewhat later, one and a half centuries later. Okay, then. Um, what do we have? We have the 21st, the 10th, the 16th. Why are they not in order? Okay, Vault 8 log, 8th of the 5th. I, that is the 5th, 5th May. American date format. The NCR has again petitioned us to join them, even after we rejected their last offer. They seem to be turning hostile, please be advised that we may be entering a combat situation in the near future. With the gangs of New Reno increasing pressure and NCR pushing our way, we may not be able to maintain peaceful relations much longer. Vault City may fall, and we wish that the following data stream be stored in the archives. The Enclave, the NCR, the Brotherhood, no one must have it. Not even you. We have encrypted the transmission. Prepare five megabytes of space on your most secure system. If you are unconvinced of its importance, know this. It is related to one of your own citizens. No one can be trusted. One day, in many years, it may be revealed. But today, let the knowledge rest only in its memory. Project Brazil is not safe. They came for our hero to spell our doom. Radroach, 2242. Project Brazil. Interesting. Okay, eight days later from... That was from Vault 8. Vault 76. Oh, wow. We had no idea this old thing even worked. It's been shut down for decades. Hello from the Appalachians, or what's left of it. Man, it's great to know that there is a group of survivors on the West Coast looking forward to hearing back from y'all. I wonder how things are out there towards Vault 76. I'm sure they're doing absolutely fine. No problems whatsoever. Vault 3. This, oh, no, this was beforehand. This was the 10th. Um, from Vault 3? Hey, guys. We traded a package of heating units for this weird reverse pulse cleaner. None of us have any idea what to do with it now that we've got it. So we're putting it in a locker until we figure it out. If you guys have any info, we'd appreciate it. You have a reverse pulse cleaner. I don't know if that's going to be important, but I'm certainly going to remember it. Vault 10, Mr. Tubbs, the one I really wanted to read. Hey, have you guys been out our way in the past few weeks? Crazy shit has been going on all over the place. The NCR has been at, at war with these freaks in power armor. We haven't been able to synth any new Nuka Cola, so we're running on reserves. If you guys find any, we're getting real thin up in this bitch. Let us know what you can find, and hey, thanks for keeping us in the loop. I know we're not a control and all, but it's nice to just chat with you guys. Sometimes, you know, takes the edge off Mr. Tubbs. Is Vault 10 where they were living off nothing but Nuka-Cola? Don't ask me how I know that. 
Tier 1 Terminal 3. Project control net connections available. Vault 10. Connection active. Display text. Automated greeting. Thank you for choosing refreshing Nuka Cola brand cola. Together with our friends at Vault Tech, we've joined forces to maintain our humanity through the cool and exciting flavors of Nuka brand colas. We'll ride the nuclear devastation in happiness. Enjoy your stay. I knew I'd read that somewhere. Vault 3. Connection active. Display text. Anyone out there? We have a water leak in the lower levels. Water chip failing. Need to open vault to scavenge parts. In the Vegas area, we met some humans. Port 16, vault 3 error. 404, server terminated. Vault 8. Connection active. Display text. Vault 8 in western Nevada here. We've opened the vault to survive. We have medicine and doctors. Not much else. Vault is becoming unlivable as systems break down. Vault City is doing well outside, growing. We've encountered several tribes and other vault dwellers living on the surface. Our GEC is being used to restore the land. We haven't heard from anyone and assume we are the most technologically advanced civilization in the wastes. If you can respond by text, please do. We'd love to hear from you. Note from Rosman, do not reply to this message. Ain't no advanced civilization left out there called Vault City. What wasn't blown up in the Brotherhood of Steel NCR war has been taken over by an NCR intelligence unit. They're looking for us. Paranoid much? Port 16, Vault 8, error. 404, server terminated. Okay. Connection active display text. Port 16, Vault 76, error. 404, server terminated. So we got we got a lot of those then, do we? Ooh. Same message each time. Where was it? Port yes, port sixteen, vault eight. Right, uh, vault eighty one. Connection active. Okay, display text. Grr. Port sixteen. Yeah. Should I know? Wait. No. Whoa. 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 That's Vault 81, but it says Vault 87, error. That's odd. Vault 82, connection active, display text, ports, blah, blah, blah. Correct Vault this time. Vault 88, display text. No one will ever find us. Door to Vault was not completed, but we made it work. We have lots and lots of resources. Someone, if you read this, we need help. 1993. 1993? Oh, 2093 maybe? Probably 2093. Yeah. Vault 88. Okay. Vault 19. Display text. Yellow dust everywhere. Toxic sulfur leaking in. And with the water seeps making sulfuric acid eating holes in the vault. If you read this, we're leaving this hellhole. Okay. 119. Terminated. 16. Connecting active, but terminated. 43. Display text. Anyone help? There is a panther in here. Yeah, that can't be good. Uh, vault 16. Terminated. 43. No, wait it. I must have read that one already. Unless there was a panther in 119. No. Okay, yeah. There can't be two vaults attacked by panthers. Well, I suppose there could, but... Seems unlikely. Vault 65. Terminated. More. Vault 52. Again. 118. 120. Vault 77. Oh. Hey, they left me alone with puppets. <laughs> that is not a good sign. Vault 77. Error. Vault 122. Uh, terminated. Vault 44. Uh, TCPM Mux Port 1. Help. Krulf. Help. 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 Lots of help. And then three dots. Yeah, that's not going to be good, is it? Tier 1. Terminal 4. Okay. This is part of Vault 18's history. All right. This is, this is important. And it's a lot more recent. 
So, let's do it in order. The first of the tenth. My father always told me that adversity reveals character. Coach Bragg said something to me along the lines before last week's tryouts for our new vault ball team. The man is a miracle. Gruff, impossible to take a read on. I can never tell if he's angry or just determined. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Angry and annoying. But he's saving our children from themselves. Uh, beg to differ. When we adopted these children, they were mostly infants and toddlers. We had no sense of parental direction and we were all in our late fifties. So set in our ways, we had no frame of reference on how to discipline or encourage children. As teenagers, one only has to examine the walls of the upper apartments to see the rebellion in their hearts. A rebellion we have been unfit to quell. I'm cautiously optimistic about this vault's future, but the startling reality is that if our enemies find themselves more organised in coming months, we are ill-equipped to handle them. We are not a young vault any longer. The median age for life expectancy is 102.9 years. I myself am 75. During the exodus 60 years ago, most of those that left were youthful, 18 to 45. They're gone now. Our teenagers here are all that's left to stand between us and the outside world. I gave Coach Bragg these troubled souls to train them, to educate them. We gave them an outlet we could not. Sports! Team building exercises discipline. He moves them with almost military precision. It's incredible. In just a few short years, he has changed them so much. I'm truly grateful to him. Why do I feel like you probably shouldn't be? Overseer Christiansen. Hmm. I have a list from Coach Bragg on my desk. He calls it the Master List. It has the names of all 300 citizens on it, organised in three lettered brackets. He and Chevy agree that the, this is the order that our citizens should follow for duty in case of an attack by outside forces. Those at the top, the A list, are on his vault ball team, the Patriots. The B list has mostly young women on it, and only a handful of boys from the opposing Barbarians team. C has just a few. The Hale children, Dr. Rosman, Ben Kurtz is noted with a star, along with Sean, Mandy, and Jason. Then there is the D list. Why am I feeling something coming with my name on it soon? I'm listed, I am listed at the top, following by everyone over 50. Nearly 250 souls, it's a startling reminder of just how aged we are, just how frail our existence is. I've signed off on the letter, hopefully, should the survivalist raiders, the Brotherhood or NCR prospectors ever find our vault, Coach Bragg can defend us against them. I'm loath to see the tribal children we raised follow this man to war, but it is his, the only way. He knows them better than I ever will. Yeah. This is not sounding good. No, it's not. Okay. A few days later. Chief Evanson sent Dr. Rosman, Yeti Hale, Dr. Bishop and Sergeant Norman out into the wasteland last week. As noted in my logs, it was sobering seeing them there in the vault gear room, dressed in their archaic rags and armed to the teeth. It's like watching old heroes ride off into the sunset in a cloud of swirling dust. The wasteland scouts. Living legends. They seem so tangible here at home, but seeing them go off on another adventure, it's inspiring. The Wasteland Scouts. Okay. Yeti Hale, Dr. Bishop and Sergeant Norman. Okay. So when was this? They have never been the same since Dr. Kyoto died so many years ago. We never did get a full explanation of what happened, just that she died of a virulent virus given to her by a prospector. It's hard to believe that the NCR pe betrayed the scouts. After all they did to fight the raiders, to help defeat the Brotherhood of Steel in the war, after fighting the Enclave, gang bosses, there are even rumours that the Wasteland Scouts saved the world on numerous occasions. So the Wasteland Scouts fought pretty much everyone on the side of the NCR and got betrayed. A Dr. Kyoto died. But this is the reality. Coach Bragg warns us that the Raiders or NCR may strike us at any moment. He believes that they know where we are, that that is what this secret mission is about, to finally determine just how far the Raiders have spread, how close the NCR is to finding us. 
The reports have been locked away behind Tier 3 Firewall. I need to get Tier 3 open. Rosman says that if his brightest students can crack into it, they may just be worthy... They may just be a worthy Wasteland Scout candidate. Ooh. I can become a Wasteland Scout. I mean, that means I have to go out into the Wasteland, but... Um, yeah, that could be interesting, couldn't it? But for the others, well, I mean, let's face it, become a hero. I mean, that has to impress the ladies just a little, right? But for the others, well, we've just hidden away this secret mission. N okay, secret mission? What? No one knows they have gone, and no one so far has noticed. Okay. The work on the terrarium is nearly complete, and most of my administrative and executive controls have been shipped there. I had the men move the old spare master computer monitors from storage to garden cave, and we've begun planting succulents. It is a lovely place for meditation. After all this is finished, we will never again have to rely on the stale crumbs of our hydroponics lab. I love it there, and so does Jason. He's been helping us build the garden rock by rock. I'm proud of my son, no matter how rebellious he may be. He hasn't been sleeping at home with his mother and I. I fear his tribal origins may be weighing on his mind again. He chooses his brother and sisters over us, along with the older star child. Ooh, I'm one of the star children, right? I believe, I think. We installed the last of the vault controls today and as the hard-locking mechanism for the self-destruct was slipped into place and activated, I felt a pang of fear. Okay, vault controls. Hard-locking mechanism for the felt self-destruct was slipped into place and activated. I felt, But hard-locking, isn't that so it can't be activated? Not at the realisation that it existed, but that I realised I wasn't afraid of it. I'd rather destroy this vault than let it fall to our enemies, and that is a feeling I am not sure how to accept. Yeah! Alright, so we, we, we got four terminals here. These, these terminals... Okay, inactive. Tier 2. And all of these seem to be... Oh no! Oh no! Tier 1, Terminal 5. Okay. Tier 1, Terminal 5. What do we have on here? Keep out unless you're helping. Kira's Terminal. <gasps> da. <sighs> she has a laser gun. But I'm helping. Will she know? She might know. Am I helping? Hey, need some help? Uh, hey, do you think you can give me a hand finding these cables? I'm lost. Yeah, they're outside in the cistern. If you haven't seen it before, it's really cool. I'm kind of not allowed to go out there, though. Uh, why aren't you allowed to go to the cistern? Because I'm a girl. And I'm attractive. The vault is also True. full of disobedient boys. The old people decided that girls just can't go out there. Not that the boys can't get into trouble with each other from time to time. But that's beside the point. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, being a boy does have its advantages. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know. And it's not just that you can piss up right. Come on, let's go. Oh, uh, are we gonna go now? We're gonna go just... I, I was just checking to see if I was helping. Because if I was helping, I was allowed to use the terminal, because I didn't want to just wander through it without your permission, because I figured you might know, and you've got a laser pistol. I sure hope this election but, turns um, out but, the way I but, hope. But, you know, hey, Overseer Christensen or I, I've got to go to the cistern to unlock Not tier three, right? Me. I, I was hoping to finish reading tier one and maybe tier two before I unlock tier three. Information is, you know, useful. Moron. Good to see you not, you know, wasting time or anything. I believe he's whoa okay. Yes, I forgot that was there. Really? I mean 
Barbarians suck ass. Mm, okay. All right, so you're going to show me where the cistern is. Uh, that's, that's, I could probably have figured it out, maybe, from the, uh, the map. Yeah, all right, no, fair enough. My, 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 my sense of direction is not that good. I, I did receive have a... fun in there. Oh, it's, it's, it's here. It's here. Um. Uh... Hey, need some help? Uh, no, no, I'm... Oh, all right. No, I mean... So you're just gonna stand there and wait for me to, uh... To do whatever it is I gotta do here. All right. Where, where, where was I supposed to be going? I'm supposed to be fixing something. You're looking like an idiot. You're supposed to know what you're bloody well doing. Okay, no, I'm looking for some cables to fix that are actually over there. But while I'm... While I'm here... Vault ball, that does not look like a... But, oh, right, yes, yes, right. I am... Um, oh, purified water, that's... I'm probably going to get thirsty. What is... Ooh. That feels... Sort of satisfying. Milk bottle. Oh, I can't take the milk bottles. Okay. Right, now the cape. Oh, this is the sister. That makes a lot more sense. I, I must admit, when I came in here, I was thinking, this looks like a laundry, to be honest. And I was wondering where I'd be finding cables in a laundry. And I knew that, that I was looking for a cistern, but I just didn't. I'm babbling, aren't I? I've had a bit of an injury today. I had a, I had a trauma to the head and my legs hurting and I'm... I'll just go in and fix the cable, shall I? Yeah, okay, that... Okay, that's a... All right, that's a giant bug and I... 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 I do have... I do have a giant wrench. I also have a bone saw. I'd prefer a gun. Um. Yeah, I'm not going out and saying I got scared off by a bloody bug. Okay, maybe. Ha. Hi. Are you... Okay, you don't look very... unfriendly, actually. Look, I've got nothing against bugs. If you could ju Why am I getting the... Come, just... Okay. Fair enough. Um, I will... Yes, thank you very much. Well, that was your own fault. I mean... Okay, Vault 18, manual network access, locked average. Uh, hatch to the lower sister... Right. So I have to go down there. Can I not... Vault 18, manual network access. Okay, science skill of 50 is Rico. Right. Yeah. Okay, then. It's just bugs. It's just bugs. Let's find the cables I've got to fix. And... Door to a lab. Out of curiosity, where were the cables that I was supposed to f fix? Back there. Of course they were. What was over here, though? Is that a... F Why is there a burning torch here? 
requires key. Door to Vault 18 Hydroponics Lab. Somebody dropped a torch outside of here. You know, I should not be running around trying to fix things when my leg is still balked. All right. Where exactly are... Oh, broken terror tech drop. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't. It was just a thought. It was just. Why am I talking to a bug? Why am I talking to a bug? It was just a thought. Um. All right, fair enough. Right, let's. Okay, yeah. Another torch. All right. Lots of switches. Where are the? Ca Broken. Oh, maybe if I leave the energy cells in. I'm really reaching at this point. Yep. Totally reaching. And... Another bug. Is it going to be up there? Probably is. I think this might be the better option. Uh... Another one. Aha! There is the door. All right. Left the rad meat behind. Requires a key. That's to the... Okay, so where in the hell were the cables then? Let's take a look. Oh, they're all the way back. They're all the way back there. Okay. Put the sword away. And look for the cables that you're supposed to be repairing. Are they underneath? Or did I just run right past them? To check the... Okay, no, no. Checking the, uh... The old pit boy... We've got... Oh, it's not these things. No, those, those do not look like the sort of cables for bloody computers. No, they do not. Okay. There seems to be something to fix right about here. Probably above. I almost certainly did not need to wander down here. Ooh. Oh, it, it, it's a water line. I thought it was a cable. I thought it was a cable. Right, let's just get back up there. And where was... No, it is... Oh, right. So this... Literally, this is what I've got to do. I've actually got to fix them. I've got to fix these terminals. That is it then, right? I, 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 I don't have the science skill required... To fix it is what you're actually saying. I thought there was going to be some physical cables somewhere I could sort of manually repair, but I actually need to to go into. Okay, so I am going to go out and say I failed. Yeah, very impressive. Hi. Everything went all right. I take it. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it, it went, it went, it, it went, like, really spiffy. <sighs> okay, what's this? Vault lab uniform. Got one. Probably don't want to be taking shirtless vault exile. Vault ranger gear. Vault refugee high waters accessorized. 
Is, is, is this, is, is the vault just sort of like a, we, we, we could take what we need kind of thing within reason? Like if it's not in a wash, if it's in a washing machine, don't take it apparently. But if it's, if it's here, I can, I could just sort of take them. Like, don't slash them. Vault Ranger get shirtless vault exile. That sounds very silly. Vault Ranger refugee high waters. Vault Ranger air conditioned. Gotta say, I've just got to know. It's. Oh, you carry more. Oh! Ooh! So I'll be a little bit more. I look like a complete dork. Um, I'd rather look like a scientist than 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 that. Vault refugee high waters accessorized. Let's take a look at that one. Also, a boost to charisma. W okay, right, yes. Let's get out of here and find a way to, um, work on our science ability. Yes, I need to be more sciencey. Although right now I'm thinking perhaps I need to go to my apartment. Hi. Which is over there. And get some would explain why it sleep. Yeah. Whoa, it looks like you've had better days. You should have someone check that out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to. Ben, hello, Ben. Hey, buddy. You all right? Oh, you must have just come back from the big game. I'm guessing everything went well. Uh, why are you talking to me? No, no, it was, it was great. Where were you? Yeah. Oh, I'm not on the team anymore. Coach Bragg decided I'm some sort of freak and kicked me out last week. Okay. But hey. It's all cool. I'm a creative guy. I have all kinds of great stuff to keep me busy. Uh, you know what? I might quit actually so weird. Brad might have a problem. No, 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 no. Yeah, I can see that. What, what, are, what are those? Oh, these are my comics. I draw these because I don't know how to write. I never learned, but I know how to draw. They tell all of these stories and dreams I have. I really like to daydream and share them with people. It's cool to know those thoughts can exist outside my head. Perception 4 or... Sweet. I love comics. I do! But I get the feeling that these are more than just comics. Yeah, me too. Some of them feel more like memories. Ooh. I can't really see anything clearly, but I think that's why they make such good stories. I can take them and just fill in the gaps that I misunderstood, which makes for a really complex narrative. I don't know. Maybe everyone's first stories are really just misinterpretations of reality. You're a dork, dude. Quick. No, no, no. I... Look, the way see a perk added. What? Sweet, man. I love comics, though. Do you have any that are finished? Yeah. Yeah. Back in my room. You should drop by later. I'll show you some of the backstory of this issue. Uh, do you want to head there now? It's getting kind of... Actually, it is. It is. It is. It is. I've got to go back to the room areas, I think. Anyway. Talk to my family and get my legs sorted. Just, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Sure. Let's head there now. We're right down the hall. Okay. Cool outfit, by the way. Really? Is that... What the hell are you carrying, though? Is that a spear? Are we allowed to have spears in here? I mean... That... 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 Seems... Well... You know... Can't... No, no, there's no one running. We're walking. I'm stumbling more than anything. No one in the hall. Okay, quarters, condos. No, I think I, I don't think I'm actually, I think I'm over there actually, I think. I may be wrong, I may be wrong. Oh. So, I've got a bunch of cool art on the walls. Take a look around. Ask me about what interests you. Oh, whoa, you do. Okay. Tribal bronze spears. All oh, right, right. Yes. <gasps> Dude. Vault dwellers and tribals facing down ghouls. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You mark 
my furniture, you idiot. What? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? What? One day I'm gonna be the overseer. You'll see. Yeah, that's that's nice. That's really really nice. That's really really nice. Uh oh, super mutants. Tribal chased by super mutants. And gonna guess Vegas, right? Gonna guess Vegas. So, what'd you find? Uh, where did you come from, dude? What's with the spear? Okay. Well, I've seen... Most people... Why are you so... Yeah, no, you know what? Where did you come from, dude? What's with the spears? You're... you're, you're that's the question I want to ask. I honestly don't know what to tell you. I have a really hard time remembering. It's something that keeps me up at night. Dr. Osman found me out there, just like everyone else. Just, I came to the vault when I was way older than you guys. That was a couple years ago, and I've had memory problems the whole time. They've gotten better, though. I can hold on to things longer. But when I think about my past, I, I just... Wanna stab you know someone you with a stare at a light, and everything slowly just explodes with color till it's all white? It's like that. And it just gets hotter and hotter as I go back, like it was just burned out of my head with a fire that spread from branch to branch. Yeah, that kind of sucks, but, uh, yeah, no, yeah, definitely sucks. <laughs> sure it does. But hey, it could be worse, right? If you're dead, you can't remember anything. Okay, right, yeah, wow, man, you're really upbeat. Most people I've seen tonight are total dick. Not really? One person was a bit of a dick. Some of the security guards seem kind of dickish. But you know, yeah, you you seem really upbeat. Yeah, I don't know why. This vault is totally calm and a really nice place. I don't see how anyone could be unhappy down here. Uh, don't you think it's a little, you know, cozy? That's awesome. Just, I wish everyone saw it that way. Yeah, no, let's be nice. He's going to give us comics. Yay. Yeah, me too. I'm really glad this is home. I have this really bad feeling that the wasteland is awful. And I never want to go back. Yeah, I'm getting that from the, the from the posters. What is that poster about? The cave with the guys in the vault suits shooting at the figures. That's that one. Oh, right. Well, that guy in the center is Kurtz. He comes from that desert city and fights with knives. He's leading this vault to safety against those other dudes. I, I think it's Vault 24. I don't know. The other guys are like undead soldiers from before the war. Really creepy shitheads led by a necromancer named Zax. They just want to bite the vault dwellers and turn them into zombies to power their army. Okay. Uh, necromancers. No, that's cool. That is totally cool. This is totally cool. This is one of the stories you've written? Sorry, I thought you were trying to write something from your memories. The the guy's called Kurtz, like you. Alright, you know what? What about the, the giant green dudes with miniguns chasing the kid? That's the last time Kurtz fought the cave giants at Cajun Pass. Your brother liked that story a lot. Okay. The first book is where Kurtz lost his friends to them, and the second is where he broke free. It may be a little sad, but he won in the end. After that, he met the vault guys and started fighting for them. And the... Yes, the city with the big tower in the middle. It's Vegas, isn't it? That's where Kurtz grew up. The world he comes from is basically just a big desert. Uh -huh. and there's only one city. That city is his home, but he left to adventure with his friends to find a place to live where the owner of that tower can't find them. He he kicked them out of the house and filled it with cement, so they left. They ended up getting lost, though. They couldn't find their way back. They got turned around in a dust storm, and that's when the cave giants found them. Right. The owner of the tower kicked them out of a vault. Awesome. Yeah, no problem. It was great adding another fan to my list. I'll be drawing a new one soon. Brilliant! I will definitely- The make Vault 18 great again is some good old-fashioned elbow grease and American ingenuity. Fill up the cracks, clean the floors. Yeah. Very cool artwork and very nice spears. Definitely a lot more to that story than he's letting on. However, to be honest, I think... In it. Okay, no, that's somebody else's quarters. That's somebody else's quarters. I think right now what I should do is try and find my quarters and get my leg sorted out. 
I look a lot less like a genius scientist and way more like his uh, assistant. You know, the one that goes off to the graveyard at night to dig up bits that might be useful in the experiments. Okay, I think I have to lurch myself down to the lower apartment and, uh, yeah, find the family. Okay. It's all very nice. Okay. Uh, probably not my apartment. Hello? Hello? No, probably not my apartment. Uh, I, 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 I suffered a head injury, so I'm not totally sure where I'm supposed to be going. He hey, welcome back. Hi, hello! Hey, it's our hero! Great work out there. You were fantastic. Yeah, sorry Thanks. you missed it, man. We had a game going on tonight. A game? Oh! But, what? Oh, yeah, it's... I'm sure it was great. What? The get? No. Sean, you... What? I, I thought we were going to try to fake it. Oh, don't. Oh. Don't bother, guys. <laughs> Oops. Just... Don't even bother. Um, okay. Mandy Star. I'm sorry about missing your big game. We just really wanted to get into this RPG before the next wave of tests in chemistry. But hey, I heard you won. Congratulations. Did we? Uh, I lost. I even broke my leg. Thanks. I'm gonna head to bed. Yeah, no. I lost. I even broke my leg. Thanks. That sounds sarcastic. She, she doesn't care and... Don't blame her for not caring. I'm going to be heading to bed soon, so you have a good night. Oh, all right. Have a good night. I'll try to play quietly. No, no, you guys just knock yourselves out. This is my... This is my... Bed. Yes, it is. This is my bed. Out of curiosity, Mandy Star, Sean Star, and Jason Star Christiansen... Where are your beds if this is my bed? Ooh. Buff out. Pop basketball, baseball, ooh, get what? Take, what is it though? Homestar console! Tim's Homestar cons... Talking to the console. You're crippled, use a stim back. I tried using a stim... Ooh, hello, Nuka-Cola. Doesn't want to. Tim Homestar Console. Hello. Homepage beta 0.642. From Mrs. G. From Mrs. G, you have pages 4 to 25 of the merits of capitalism due Monday. Please don't be late just because of the big game. We have the civil war to cover next week. Okay. No, no worries, Mrs. G. Coach John Bragg. I want everyone to meet me early in the gym before the game for a quick pep talk. 18.30. This one is going to be a little different. Don't be late. Okay. Error. Tier 3. Oh. Right. If I get the tier 3 online, I will be able to access these. Yes. Note to Senator Skulls from vault -Tec. Congratulations on the successful launch of Vault 18 and its soon-to-be-completed segments. We're sorry to note that the terrarium and several sections of excavated caverns never met their completion before the world was lit ablaze by atomic flame. But we assure you that Terratech droids <gasps> will have them ready in no time. We hope you and your daughter enjoy your stay with vault -Tec for a better tomorrow. A better tomorrow with Terratech droids. Oh, yeah. Oh, we did. Okay. Got a curiosity before I go to sleep. I thought you were going to bed. I am. No, I am. I'm going, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Yeah, not yet. All right. Uh, not quite yet. I was just, just going to, just going to. Oh, okay. Did you have something else you wanted to talk about? <sighs> okay, I lost. I broke my leg. That was it. Oh, really? Um, I don't know much about football. And we've been here all night. We haven't even left. Really. I'll make it up to you somehow. Is there anything I can do right now? 
maybe. Did you get this guitar? You've got a guitar? You've got a guitar. Where'd you get a guitar? Oh, Chief Evanson brought it to me today. Apparently, when they found us in the wasteland, they picked up this guitar and brought it back to the vault, and it's just been in storage this whole time. Obviously, our parents had a thing about stars. There's one burned into the wood. Would you like to learn how to play? Sure, yeah, can't it wait for the No, 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 teach me to play, teach me to play. Can it wait until tomorrow, though? But yeah, teach me tomorrow. I need to get my leg fixed. Okay, that'll be exciting. We'll start this week. Was there anything else you needed? Uh, do you have anything that can help my leg? Right, yes. Ooh, yes I do. Here, I just so happen to be studying medicine, and this is part of the kit I made in lab this week. <laughs> don't be scared. Hold still. There, all better. So I don't need is to there sleep. Anything else? I don't need to sleep. It's okay, Mandy, I forgive you. No, and I don't want to. For no, no, I forgive you for missing my game. I don't blame you. Oh, yay. That's good. I wouldn't want you to be mad at me. You just fixed my leg. I'm not likely to be mad at you, so. Oh, all right. Have a good night. I'll try to play quietly. Yeah, I'm probably, I'm probably not gonna need to sleep now. I've got loads of stuff to do and I'm not feeling very sleepy. No, I'm not. And to be honest with you, I feel a bit odd going to sleep with you guys in my room. You know, I, I, I guess this is our room, but the fact that there's only one bed. Well, you know. Sean? Uh, yeah, man. Sorry about that. We were just sitting down to set up our game and... Dude, really? We've been working towards this for weeks. Where were you? It's not, no, don't, don't worry about it. That's just seriously, do not worry about it. Oh. Wow, that's unusually forgiving. I was worried all night that you'd be pissed when you got home. You're not pissed? Uh, no, not really. It's just a game. I'm going to crash the bed. Can I give it a no? What, what are you playing? I'm far more interested in what you're playing. It looks like a card game only with robot figures. Oh. Well, we're playing something called Robots 2500. It's a miniatures role-playing game. It's all about this future where the robots have saved the world 300 years from now. Only, not all the robots are good. When they rebuilt the Earth, there were a bunch of different factions from different corporations competing for resources. Okay, so, so whoa, 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 whoa. So that, if that's all of this backstory, how does it affect gameplay? Well, the story has nothing to do with the gameplay. It's just there to add depth. You know, immersion. Dude, you know I hate that word. <laughs> 